And it's important to note that it's also DG. Uh, the wife of the former governor of Anambra State talking about the man who we are wishing and uh, celebrating today and bidding farewell. <laughs>
is here, Mr. Pitobi. Yes, the, the speaker, the Chief George, the Senior Senator Uche Lilian Ebrevan, uh, Deputy Speaker, former Deputy Speakers. Yes, go in that order to pay their last respect to this great man. He came, he saw, and he conquered. Bearing in mind that we are all passing through in this world. He may figure me, but can I only open a Ghana? Tata, we are bidding farewell to this statesman. Please. Can we have some tranquil? It is supposed to be a solemn moment. Let's bring our voices down. I crave your indulgence. Please bring your voices down. Please. Please. This is supposed to be a solemn assembly. Please. Please bring your voices down, please. Please. Penigo Arapokoji. Biko Kaimebe no say so. A little faster. Thank you. Thank you. to stop it here we have to stop it here please please that's one minute more we have to stop it here so we can move on with the rest of the items on the program this world i'm living in i have done forbidden things i shouldn't do okay the family now the family now please the fa in procession there's no more sorrow Across the bridge, there's no more pain. Children, 
and other members of the family, paying their last respect to His Excellency, the late of Portugal, Kitty You'll never be unhappy again across the grave. Good Kodera, we can please you to call eternal life. And live the life of resurrection. We pray, Lord, to grant you eternal rest. Condole the family, tell the wife, and all who are very much taught by this day. May this occasion also remind us of the need to live our lives that at the end of the day, we will see the Lord face to face. As we pray that this funeral that is already on, will be as go on without any problem. We make up this prayer through Christ our Lord. We know the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is a very difficult task. How much more to lead an state for four years? Can we clap for Dr. Chumo Kembadiniju? Okay, now. It is not easy. We stay in this place and we know how hard it is. Even to be governor of Anambra for one day is a difficult task. So we commend you. Mama, uh, Odera's wife, we thank you. You supported your husband. That uh, uh, He has tried his best. Nobody is an angel. And today your family is standing very strong. The Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. One day will you be honored as the state is honoring Odera today. I want to use this opportunity to remind us that this world is not our home. People settle in this world and they think that this place is a permanent place. There are three types of death which everyone must pass through. Number one is physical death. There is nobody that will not die physically. Time will not permit me to be taking you to the scriptures that are illustrating what I am saying. Everybody will must die physically. And it is written in the book of James. I give you an assignment for you to go and find it out. One day you will die physically. Look at Odera with all the power that he possessed before. But today, he's inside the coffin. One day, whether you are, I don't know wherever you may be today, one day you will be inside a coffin. So if you are a politician and you are not doing the right thing, one day you will be inside the coffin. If you are a church leader and you are not doing the right thing, one day you will be inside the coffin. If you are a traditional ruler, you are not doing the right thing, one day you will enter a coffin. And the, the person that enters a coffin is a dead man or a dead woman. Coffin is not meant for living people. Secondly, there is another type of death. And that death is what we call spiritual death. Everybody will die spiritually. If there are people that are living but they are spiritually dead. If somebody, we know the state of Nigeria today, Nigeria is a country that is blessed, but our wrong application, people have made this country to be what it is today, and today there is suffering everywhere. That is why even people who are not called to be politicians are now say they want to be politicians, because they see it as a way to supply their daily need. It's not everybody that is called to be a politician. There are people that should go and ask God for what God has called them to do. Because to be a politician, you must be responsible. You must be able to serve the people. You must be able to use the resources available and not to subject the people to suffering. As we are very Odera, it is time to remind our politicians that one day, you may be a living person, but you are spiritually dead. In Isaiah 59, verse 1, he said that God's hand is not short that he cannot save. God's ear is not deaf that God cannot hear. It is our sins that have separated us from the Almighty God. At the appointed time, 
Number three type of debt is what we call eternal debt. Time will permit me not to talk about it, but I give you an assignment, Revelation chapter 20. All of us we come one by one to face the Almighty God. God is a creator from Almighty God. Because time is coming when God is going to judge the living and the dead. Yes, this is the symbolic draping of the casket with a, an amber state flag to tell you that he was here as the governor of an amber state. Yes. Today we are laying, if you like, the first governor to govern Anambra under this republic, 1999 to date, since the commencement of this fourth republic. And it is quite auspicious that every governor, every governor who has sat here as governor of Anambra State is given opportunity even for one minute to say a word of goodbye to okay. the first governor of Anambra under this dispensation. I would therefore crave that Andara too, Mama Anambra is here, will take the microphone to you to say a word or two, and then we we'll take on to Governor Peter Obi, uh, Governor Peter Obi, to also say a word or two to Odera, before then, I wrap up. Thank you very much. So, His Excellency, Odeba, I wouldn't say that uh, I don't really know his antecedent because during the time he was here, I wasn't all that present. But from what I heard, it's good to say that uh, he was a good churchman and he led an Anambra State. Actually, in the way he was able to do. So I say goodbye to him. And then also to say, all the people that are here, we are all welcome in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Good evening. May God Almighty, who be pleased to call you home, grant you eternal rest in the and grant your family, noble woman, the fortitude to bear your irreplaceable loss. God bless your family. Thank you. And uh, all are, you know, distinguished in their number, wherever you may be. This, like I said, is a very historic moment for Anambra State. This republic started in 1999, 24 years ago. Dr. Sisi Mbaknuju, Dr. Amin, came in here, this premises, as the governor of Anambra State. 20 years ago, 2003, he left office. 77 years of age, he had to leave. 20 years after leaving office, it is only fitting that as a people, that he devoted four good years of his life to serve. <coughs> Put his life on the line, the sacrifices of his family and friends to serve. That we gather at this particular hour to say goodbye. That's the man. I mean, today is not the day for speeches, and I'm not here to make any long one. Tomorrow is the day of speeches. But I want to say, we have come today to join with the family to be able to say to him, the man who told us it shall be well with Anambra. Today, we have come to say to him, it is well 
with your soul. It is well with your soul, Odella. It is well with your soul. I don't want to reminisce on our days at the National Party of Nigeria, or where I knew him when he was then serving the President Shagari, and he would come to Nsoka, and we would reminisce with Dr. the late Dr. Uzo I knew Odera from then, even though as a student activist. And then he became governor, and I all followed in his footsteps. I wasn't in politics then. But I can say, boldly, without any sense of equivocation, that Odera devoted a lifetime of service, commitment to humanity. And in his own time, in spite of every attempt to, re I mean, um, to revise history, because of probably one incident, that Odera, given the resources at the, the disposal, at the time and circumstances of that time, Odera gave Anambra his all. And I must say, we pray that it shall be well with our number. And indeed, I want to say, it is well and getting better even for our number. He prayed and laid some basic foundations. Two days ago or three days ago, I was at Chukwemeko University, Ibarian. Many people forget that it was Odera that founded the Anambra State University, now called Kukwemeko University. Many people also forget the Women Development Center. Many forget that it is Odera that built the Women Development Center. Many forget that Odera built the roads, built all the stuff, whether it's Udoka, this, and so on and so forth at that time, receiving less than a billion in federal allocations at the time. And given the problems of the moment, he did his best. He did his own bit. I know that because schools were on strike for a year, now everything else he did seemed to be forgotten. History will be kind to Odera that he led the foundation for the human rights. He lived their life. And I would then say to you, the Anambra, the pattern is wrong. The pattern is wrong. The weather testifies to it. But when his cops arrived here, we were really under the heat of the moment. But the moment his cops came down, the weather changed. Even the heavens, even the heavens are warning that Anambra has lost a great soul. Anambra has lost a great soul. But that morning, weather has turned it into a blessing with the rain coming down at this particular point. It's significant. Something is happening, not just here on earth, but even the heaven testify that a great soul is leaving us. And at this moment, I want to say, I want to welcome all of you. It's a three-day state event. Today, he's lying in state, coming back to the place where he spent four years presiding over the affairs of Anambra. We're all best of passage. As I watched his coffin coming down, I reminded us that we are best of passage. It is the way of all mothers. And one by one, we are all going to leave. And we'll say, it is well with his soul. Today is the first. Tomorrow will be the day of commendation service, which will be at the International Convention Center here in Oka. And I think that begins by 11 o'clock, if I'm not mistaken. And then after that, on Friday, we will all proceed to leave for the service and the final encounter, where we we'll finally be the farewell. But to end, I want to thank all of you for 77 is a very historic number. But as I reminisce, more than 40 years that I knew him, in him and lived an impactful life. It's not how long, but how well. And Odera, the Anambra, the government and great people of the Anambra have assembled here today to say it is well with your soul. Thank you very much, Africa. All right. Thank you.
Um, the body. Oh, 
Ay, ya, por favor.